Hello, everybody. Whew. That hill, that hill, I swear, like, who builds their house on a hill? Kills me every time. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a hard, it's a tough hill. I need a Kit Kat. Focusing so much on that. I am. I'm just eating a mint Kit Kat. I needed that after I uh, climbed that hill. Thank you, Wingate. Sorry, I'm just I was just scrolling through. Yes, that is Pilot and Ned that are on uh, Puppy Hill now. scrolling through looking at all the old stuff how is everybody sorry I didn't uh, talk on Monday I was um busy what was what did I do Monday Monday I, um day I got really busy and just it was crazy I was running around like crazy and I couldn't get up here in time I forget what I was doing but in any case well I'm here now um yeah, I think I got it here at like quarter past three instead of quarter of three. But, and then yesterday I gave three tours in the afternoon, which is, you know, very rare. I think I hardly ever gave one during the, you know, but you now people are finding out about us and wanting to know more, so they come over. How was everybody's New Year's? My New Year's was fun. I uh, went and saw my friend's band and they um, they had gotten in touch with us Friday night and said that they uh, we were on the list for get backstage passes. So luckily we had that because it was windy and rainy. So we uh, were able to stand in the tent for most of the night, but, um, but it was fun. We had a blast anyways, so. Um, but I'm doing well. Thank you, Nicole. How are you? How is Cindy? I just saw, I was scrolled back and saw that you, she was buried under the snow. <clears throat> I had, um, had Pearl um, walking around with me today. She's, um, she's, she's good. She's really cute, very sweet, um, but she's very timid. Um, so she's, uh, even though she knows me, loves me, um, she still has a hard time with putting a leash on. Um, and she was really, really afraid of that. So we're just working on um, desensitizing her to the leash. So I'm trying to walk around with a leash and like, you know, I'll try to go, whenever I go in with the authors, I'll try to have a leash in my hand or something like that, just to um, desensitize them to, to that. So, um, 
and then every now and again, like some of them, I don't know if you, you know, many of you may have seen me um, working um, with some of the other ones that, um, like Edgar had no problem. He was he was fine with the leash. He was fine with putting it on. He, it was old hat for him. But the other ones, um, they were a little leery at first. And I was working with um, string cheese, and they love that. So that's that's a treat for when they get um, when they put it in. Uh, when they put their head through or when I am able to put the leash on them, um, they uh, they get a piece of cheese. Um, or sometimes I even just put the, um, the leash bunched up around, you know, in a little pile and then put cookies in and around it so they can root through it um, and, you know, know that the leash isn't going to hurt them. Um, just the, the more they get are around the leash the less afraid of it they'll be so so uh but yeah most of the other ones were um okay with it and but um pearl just was not enjoying it at all <clears throat> so oh yeah so we removed everything there we haven't moved everything in the bedroom yet Uh, what else went on today? So I'm sure you saw Finn playing in the um, in the arena with uh, Kringle. Um, he needed to run around, and I think Eve needed to run around too because she was getting really goofy. Eve was getting she was just very giggly, so she was very silly. But um, yeah, so we had Finn running around in with uh, with Kringle for a while, but. Um, I don't know if you saw Kringle this morning. Well, I don't, you wouldn't have seen her. Um, I had her out on Flat Field with, um, with Grumman. And Flat Field is just a mud everywhere. And Kringle came in and she was brown. She was, uh, she was awful. So Kate and I gave her a, uh, we have um, waterless shampoo. So we just gave her a quick uh, rub down with the waterless shampoo. And now she's, she's clean again. But yeah, she she was practically she was practically a merle. <laughs> That's why she looked so gray. <laughs> Any other questions this this afternoon? <clears throat> Trying to think if there's any other. Uh, any other stories from today? Um, hmm. No, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing I can think of. Hmm. Walter, uh, Walter hasn't been feeling very good the past couple of days, but, uh, He's feeling a little better today, so he was he was more um, more vocal today. Oh, I know. Uh, I don't know if anybody was listening to the donkey cam this morning. Um, I had I had heard them start howling, so I made sure I opened up the the door um, to the hallway so that on the donkey cam you'd be able to hear. Um, but Walter and and Charlie got into a, a howling to, you know, duet. They were duetting, so I was hoping you'd be able to hear it on the donkey uh, on the donkey cams. Yeah, today was um quiet day it was it was nice it was uh oh <clears throat> sorry I just had to refresh and it was like no wow tons of questions I was like wow everybody's being quiet I had to refresh for it to actually show all these questions Um, how is Finn doing being matched with Eve? Um, very good, very good. Um, 
and I was talking to Deb, and she said that um, that she was more she wasn't worried about Finn; she was worried about Eve, <clears throat> um, getting maybe getting a little frustrated. And, um, but she's she's doing good. She's doing really good. So they're they're both they're both doing really well. How does the process work of matching a pup with a recipient? Um, well, um, usually when someone's a bit closer, we have them come as often as possible. I've got four phones here. Is okay. Um, I've got four phones on the desk. I don't know. <laughs> um, so usually, um, you know, if the person's closer, then um, we have them come as often as possible and um, just do some um, volunteering and meeting all of the dogs and if they seem um, to have more of a um, little bit more of a bond with any of the other ones and it has to be um, the, the right match height, height wise too and, and what not um, so it's probably more of a question for um, trainer talk um, at 4.45 um, but yeah, so we we just try them sit with uh, sit with dogs and just see if there's anyone that um, works a little more than another. You know, just as far as a, um, the dog is more receptive to you. Um, that's what happened with um, with Craig and Amelia. Was um, Amelia always just seemed kind of a little a little shy, um, but for some reason she wasn't shy at all with with Craig. And um, so he, he used to make sure, make it a point to always go in and see her and um, chat with her and whenever he was here. Um, he only lives about 45 minutes away, so he was here. Uh, he's still usually here two or three times a week. Um, and um, so he had, uh, I think he was not here for a couple days. Or actually, you know what, she was, um, she was up top for a while up here in these kennels instead of down in the barn and um, she came back down to the barn after like several weeks and he hadn't made it up top um, to see her and then um, he walked in and walked into her kennel and she was excited to see him too so that's when we kind of knew um, that you know if if this was going to work that you know it was going to be Craig and Amelia so um so, uh, Deb M. from Pennsylvania. Sorry if I missed it, but is Maya still there? She is actually living with um, Nurse Donna now. I don't know if you um, know Nurse Donna. She's not, not Donna that's um, normally here during the day. Nurse Donna is, um, she's a volunteer. Um, she comes every once in a while. You know, I don't know how much she's seen on camera, but she um, does a lot down the barn. Um, so... Um, but she's uh, so she is a nurse, so she knows all about any of the, the medications that um, Maya will be um, on. So um, I haven't heard any um, any feedback of what how she's doing, but um, that might be something that you can ask at mail call. Hi, Sizzle. Hi. It's a pretty girl. Oh yes, I know. I know. Mwah. Could you not bite my face? Thank you. <laughs> Ugh. Um, who's down in the barn with me dog-wise? Uh, I've got, let's see, Ned and Podrick, Chandler, um, Gretchen, Rocco, um, Spinner, Washer, five of the authors, um, a couple more I'm missing. see Kringle mm. I think I'm missing a couple did I say pilot pilot too so that's all I have I just have the um, the barn side right now we're not doing donkey hillside during uh, the evenings because they they tend to bark a little more if they're over there so um, we just have the barn side uh, JK Focus, the name of my friend's band is, they are local, but they do play uh, around, um, they do tour a little bit, um, they, um, 
their name is Tiger Man Woe. So, um, but yeah, they do tour. They go all over New England. They've, they've played New York before. Um, they play, they've played down in Virginia. Um, so, yeah, so they, they, they do play around. They've played in California before, so. Let's see, Raquel, can a dog that is scared of a leash become accustomed to it eventually? Um, yep, that's what we call desensitizing. Um, we just try to keep the leash around, like, you know, carry it around. I'll just carry it around as much as possible and, um, and just try to make it a positive experience for her, um, you know, with doing, like, cheese or um, just high-value treats when, I'm, uh, when I have the leash instead of just giving her cookies, which she gets an abundance of. Um, then if I, if I do cheese or um, little pieces of beef or, um, or stuff like that, any of the high-value stuff, um, then it's more of a positive experience, something that she doesn't get all the time. Um, so she, um, I think she, she'll do fine. She'll do fine. Um, it could just be an age that it's a, um, I've found also um, like the timid dogs like her, the more I have them just walking around the barn with me, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> the more um, confidence they get. Um, I was um, I was noticing. So, Craig and Amelia have been are, are together now for a few weeks now, and um, she we used to make fun of her because she she was afraid of big dogs. I'm like, honey, you are a big dog, but she just didn't get it. So she, she was always she was very afraid of. Um, for some reason, she was afraid of denim. Denim, you know, never you know denim likes to play, but she never did anything specific to her to make her afraid. It's just anytime Denim came near her, she would screech, bloody murder. Um, and now that she's, um, for a couple weeks, she was just walking around with Craig before uh, before he ever took her home. He was walking or whenever he was, hi, I'm telling a story. I'm telling a story. I am. Excuse me. Um, so whenever Craig was there, she was walking around with him and then you know, um, so they, he's been, had her at home for a few weeks now using her as, you know, as a service dog. She's doing great. And she came in here uh, and she was walking around the barn the other day and I let Charlie out to, because um, he needed to go out into the, the arena to play a little bit. And I let him out and she ran over to him and she was all excited to, to see him and, and was, you know, and was not afraid of him at all. So that that's how I know that she. I mean, they're they they mature. They they um, they're uh, more confident. They she she's gotten so much uh, more confident since she's been home with Craig. So it's um it's you don't always see it because I don't I don't see um, a lot of the dogs often. Um, so I see I see um, Amelia a lot, and um, yeah, I, I I can see the differences in her. So, um, so yeah, they they um, they do mat maturity helps. So and and she's only four months old. So we've got we've got time to, to work with her. So, but most of the dogs, you know. Um, it's it's weird. You, you see a dog; they'll run away from the leash, and as soon as you do get the leash on them, they're like, "Okay," and they go with you, and they're n no trouble at all. It's just, I think, just putting the leash on is scary, um, for some reason. Um, so, we're working on that. We're working on it. Oop. <laughs> Yeah, the pups, pups are mobile and they're all scattered everywhere. Mm -hmm. I said the pups are mobile now and they're scattered everywhere. Oh, yeah, they're <laughs> yep. All right. Um, all right. I'm, uh, I'm going to head out now if there's no more questions. Um, and 
I will uh, put the camera back on Uncle Bud. Can I come in there? Yeah. And then she'll believe you. Oh, okay. Okay. Plus, we're right. having a vacation. Oh, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Have a good afternoon, everybody. And I will um, talk to you again on Friday. I'll wave at you tomorrow morning.